Hi, and welcome back to the shop. For the past year or so, I've been building this letterpress here from scratch. And today we're going to work on one of the last big pieces, which is the hand wheel. To drive this letterpress forward so far, I've been using this crank, which is off of an old machining vise. It works, but it's really not the sort of drive mechanism I want on this thing. What I really want is a sort of hand wheel, kind of like you'd have on a sewing machine, or really just a regular letterpress. This hand wheel would have a lot of momentum, so it would kind of act like a flywheel. I could drive it by hand, or I could hook up a motor to it, geared down, or pulleyed down, I guess, and cause it to turn and effectively motorize the press. I waited until the end of the project to do this because I really am kind of scared about attaching a motor or something with a lot of momentum to a mechanism I'm not really sure about until I've like actually proved it out, so I think now is about the time to do it. Now for the design. I've got this sort of big round of steel, and kind of my thinking is I'm going to use that as sort of a hub to go at the center of the wheel. Coming out of that I'm going to have a bunch of spokes. I think I'm going to use some sort of threaded rod for it, I'm still kind of trying to figure that part out. And then around the outside, I'm going to have some sort of outer ring. Again, not quite sure what I'm going to do there yet, but I have a couple ideas. So I think first, I'm going to start on the center hub. Okay, so that's the hub at the center of the wheel complete. I've got a hole down the middle to put on the shaft, and then I've got a bunch of holes around the perimeter for the spokes. Originally I was going to have six spokes, but kind of on the fly I moved to 12. It just didn't really feel like six was going to be enough. But speaking of spokes, I got all this threaded rod from the home center. I'm going to take each one of these, I'm going to cut it in half, and then I'm going to put half into each hole. Okay, so the next part of the project is I need to somehow put a ring around the outside of the center hub that I've made. Ideally, I'd like to make this out of steel or iron or some sort of really heavy metal. Moving the mass away from the center of the wheel will give the thing more momentum, and that's really what I'm going for. But I don't really have the capability to machine parts of that magnitude in my shop. Some of the pieces I made for the rest of the letterpress just barely fit on the mill and forget about the lathe. I've had to consider alternatives, and what I've landed on is casting this ring out of cement. Cement is heavy, so it's got that going for it. I should be able to cast it in whatever sort of shape and size I want. It's also pretty cheap, which isn't bad either. What I'm thinking is at the end of each threaded rod, I'll make a machined piece that'll sit on the end with threads in it. This will help anchor the threaded rod into the concrete when I cast it. As far as the whole mold I'm going to cast this thing in, uh, that's a whole complex thing. We'll get to that in a second.
I need a mold to cast the concrete ring inside of, and I'm going to make that out of layers of foam core. Foam core is great because it's really easy to work with. I'm going to cut a bunch of squares, and then I'm going to cut a bunch of circles inside of those squares. The foam core between the circle and the square, that's going to make the outside mold for my ring. One more thing, I want the top surface of this ring to be what's called crowned. That means it's not flat on top, it's got a high point. The reason why I want this is twofold. First, I just think it would feel nicer in the hand. But more importantly, second, I had this idea where I want to run a belt around the wheel. Eventually the idea being I could hook a motor up to the other end of this belt and that uses it to drive the whole press. In order for a belt to track along a disc like this, it needs one of two features. It either needs some sort of valley or some sort of trench, or it needs to be crowned. So I'm going to go the crowned route, and you'll see how I'm going to do that in a second. Hopefully now you can see the crown I was referring to. I'm hoping at some point in the future a belt will track along this pretty nicely. All the formwork's installed, so now we're ready to start mixing concrete. As input into the process, I've got this Portland cement and this sand.
This hand wheel is starting to look like something. But there's a thing I still need to take care of, and that's that the hand wheel and the shaft aren't coupled together yet. I need to machine a piece that fits into the two threaded holes on the core of the hand wheel. That piece is going to have a key in it, and it's going to anchor into the shafts. Whenever you turn the hand wheel, the shaft's going to move too. And I think we're done. Let's give it a try. There's one last thing I'm going to do. Put a protective finish on the hand wheel surface. I want to make sure the cement ring lasts. But that's about it. The hand wheel is the last big part of the letterpress project. Next episode I'm going to take the whole press apart, prime and paint the whole thing, and then put it back together. And then I'm going to be done, which is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of the hand wheel in the comments below, and thanks for watching. See you next time.